when you have a very strong domestic consumption, basically your economy becomes even more self-reliant. And, and China, if any country is in this world at this phase can do that, it's China. Welcome to Boardroom and Beyond Podcast, a show dedicated to exploring corporate governance best practice. This podcast is a learning journey, taking us to different parts of the world to discover profound and eye-opening differences in corporate governance, understand those differences, and learn how to unlock the mystery of doing business wherever we go. I'm your host, Li Si Zhang. I hope you will enjoy the journey with me. Welcome back, everyone. This is the second part of China corporate governance discussion with Vivian Lin, a partner and portfolio manager of Chicago-based investment banking and asset management firm William Blair. In the first part of the conversation, Vivian talked about corporate governance of China state-owned entities and her experience investing in Chinese companies. In this episode, Vivian will share with us her opinion regarding end group IPO. Instant and the China regulation reform trend. You wrote many articles about the Chinese market, and I read some of your article, and I think you are pretty much point out technology, healthcare, other sections which is booming in China. And do you have any like geographic recommendation? Because China is big. Like, where is the area? Well, well, have you know better、uh, entities than other areas? Do you have any geographic preference? Got it. I would say probably less about the geography, more about the industry or sector they are in.、Uh, so you actually correct point out、uh, healthcare and technology. Also, the other big one is consumer. So consumer, healthcare, technology are three major investment、uh, themes that we continue to like and invest in China and also China Asia market. And then the, the reason I said less about geography is、uh, a lot of、uh, good companies in consumer, healthcare, and technology they are already nationwide. And you're right; they tend to start from the more affluent、uh, part of China, which is the coastal provinces. And then you know that a lot of the e-commerce spaces start from. Uh, Hangzhou area, right, and then and then so Zhejiang, Shanghai, and 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 then、um, uh, Jiangsu is one area has a lot of great companies, and then you also have Shenzhen, Guangdong,、uh, Fujian, also another great companies, and then you have some, around Beijing is another. So basically, around the three,、uh, four tier one cities, right,、uh, Beijing, Shanghai, Shenzhen, Guangzhou, around them tend to have more good companies. Uh, as, at least the headquarters are around there. But if you think about the business, they already most of them already more nationwide. Especially a lot of growth on the coastal areas depends on the category industry we're talking about. It could be already more kind of peaked or plateaued. And so most growth actually, I would argue that now coming from other provinces which is lacking before, but have potential more catching up, more growth opportunities.、Uh, you either. England or some less、uh, tier two, tier three, tier four level cities or provinces. So that's how I would classify it. Instead of by geography, I'm more looking at the scope of their business,、uh, the sector they are in, and then also future growth opportunities. Understand? Thank you for pointing out、uh, like the coast area, especially Hangzhou is one of the places we have because Alibaba is based there. Which you know lead to a question about uh, uh, I think uh, some.、Uh, Ant Group, which is part of Alibaba, I think this company just catched the、uh, the headline for many media recently because of the it's、uh, like the record high IPO plan and then was suspended by the government. And what is your opinion? Because I think when Ant IPO was suspended, there are two opinions on the market. Some think this is、uh, absolutely a、uh, regulate regulation uncertainty for China and for Chinese company. Others think this good、uh, could be a good sign because that means the Chinese government is try to make you know better regulation for consumer based、uh, companies. So, what is your opinion on on the Ant Group IPO? Thank you. This is a very big discussion.、Uh, so, I will try my best to go a little by little to to kind of address the, those questions you just asked. So, first of all, think about Ant Group. This is an amazing reflection and example of how China. Has come through on the disruptive and advanced technology side. This company was founded 16 years ago, 
and now is the largest online financial service company in the world. To listen to the rest of this episode, please check our website in the description section below this video. And please subscribe Boardroom and Beyond YouTube channel so you will not miss any future episodes. Thank you for listening.